Andrew, there's so many different new players coming into the cannabis industry and doing different things. You've got a really unique place in the marketplace with strain print. How does it work? So the ecosystem starts with our mobile journaling app. So it's an app that we give away free to patients. And the intention of the app is to help patients to figure out what works best for them. So as you know, there's, there hasn't been any research, dearth of research, no research in this industry right now today. It wasn't permitted in many cases. It's been prohibited. And, um, so the only, and, and the other part of the equation is that it's not like a traditional medication where it's a molecular uh, science, right? So now we're talking about f up to 450 optic components. So there's tens of thousands of strains. Every single one affects everybody differently. And so we had to come up with a way to help people to figure out what works best for them. We're all patients. So we came to this and approached it from a patient perspective and said, what would we want? And... Um, we came uh, up with a, the idea of tracking not just reviews, but uh, basically medical or scientific tracking of a symptom, symptomatic state pre and post your medication against the ingestion method that you're using and then against the full chemical profile of the strain that you're using. So we made it easy. You can track up to 350 active component, uh, sorry, 350 conditions, 40 associated system, symptoms, 12 ingestion methods, and then the full chemical profile. So every single medical record has uh, up to 56 data points in it. And then we have over 600,000 of those. And you're just collecting a, an unbelievable amount of data very quickly and growing 20% month over month, month staggering. Over month. It's staggering. And, and it's because it's crowdsourced, right? So patients are using it and it works. So if you track how you how you medicate and you can see that in a visualization in a, in a digital format, then you can start to see what's working for you for the particular symptom you're, you're treating against. And then what we can do is aggregate that data, roll it up, and we deliver it in a BI platform, a business intelligence so platform. So what you've seen so far, Andrew, is there sort of one particular ailment that you feel is being most positively impacted by the medical treatment? So there's really two types of uh, ailments that are. So there's neurological ailments that, that we're seeing a lot um, through what's called CB1 receptors in the brain. And then there's there's uh, sort of skin-related uh, issues that can be dealt with very well and, and muscular uh, through um, through CB2, re CB2 receptors. And uh, so so there's, there's things like joint pain, anxiety, insomnia, uh, anything related to neuropathy like um, muscular cirrhosis or epilepsy, those are really uh, big ones that we're seeing um, a lot of efficacy in, with cannabis with. But it's understanding which strains or, or what chemical profile, not the strain name, because the strain names are relevant, but what chemical profile fits the best for a particular symptomatic state. And that's what we're starting to understand as the well, data and grows. Is it the best per symptomatic state or is it really individualized by person. So best for symptomatic state per person. Per person. Absolutely. Yeah. But what we're able to now see is by cohort. So we can see that 35 year old women, for example, uh, respond better to vaporizing as opposed to men who respond better to pills. I see. All right. So we're now able to see age uh, cohort. We're able to see um, ge geography uh, as well, um, how people are using it and what's working for them by geography. But we're just starting to understand what we've gathered, right? So uh, it's really new. And just like in every other industry, it starts with gathering the data and then it, and then the research behind it comes. And i um, happy to report that now with what we have, we can start to support clinical trials, well, which is and, really in the next stage. And where, where you can start to apply these vast amounts of data is, of course, using the latest artificial intelligence and machine learning exactly. algorithms. Where do you think machine learning will play a role to help your product roadmap? Yeah, so we have it two ways. In the, in the background right now, we're using it actually to help us to uh, associate symptoms with conditions. We're also using it to help to um, wean out the outliers in the data and to cleanse the data before we actually report on it. Um, we're also going to start to integrate it in the future into the UI experience on both our app and on our analytics platform. With, with like a recommendation engine type? Exactly, thing. exactly. So our customers use it for recommendations. So we need to be able to make it really easy for them to get the answers that they want. And uh, you know, so our, pro our, our interface will evolve over time with that. Um, we're looking uh, very closely at the AI industry and le other Canadian leaders like Integrate AI. Um, we love those guys. And, and uh, you know, I think as they start to figure out what the hot buttons are, we'll be able to figure out how to plug those into our platform. Well, and the amount of data you have is going to be valuable to a lot of different participants in this industry and health authorities too, and regulators yes. and, you know, and, and healthcare practitioners. Yeah. Where's the first big monetization opportunity? So we're seeing it in two places right now, in the clinics and in the licensed producers. So licensed producers are using it because it's helping to identify what products they should be carrying, what's working. They have no way of seeing what happens after they sell the product. So this is the feedback loop that tells them, this is how my patients are using it. This is what my patients are using from other people as well. 
and, uh, and then the feedback loop on how we can get them back in for more. And then on the clinic side, it's for doctors to identify efficacy and see what are the true active components in any particular strain that a patient's using that might lead to the best to that symptomatic relief.